Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. I'm back. I'm back after having been away for quite a while and I want to thank you all so much for being so patient with me. I have been busy every day designing my own tarot decks and they're not available just as yet. And that's because everything has taken a little bit longer. I was hoping to have decks ready today to play with and that you could buy immediately. But due to various printing issues and things taking longer, postage to Australia seems to be a little bit of an issue. So things have been taking a bit more time. But what I can share with you is a proof version of one of the new decks that I have been designing. So now you guys all know the Vedic Astrology deck. You, you guys all know this one. But um, so that will definitely be for sale. OK, that's coming and I'll give you an update on what's happening with that. But before I get to that, I wanted to share with you this new deck, which is a Stoic Wisdom Tarot deck. And what this uh, deck has is now I've, I've got all these beautiful colors here and we've got the traditional tarot with the astrological placement and a quote by an ancient Stoic, right? So which was the one I wanted to share with you? I wanted to share with you the Emperor. Let's see if I can find the Emperor. Where did he go? That's the Ace of Wands. Oh, this is quite good. Ace of Wands, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Seneca. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know if you can see that. How's that coming up? I have updated the fonts a little bit. Some of these fonts are going to be a bit bigger. Things like that. So all the cards are here. And basically one of the reasons I did this was so that so it serves two purposes so number one i've always wanted to create my own tarot deck and that's here but this also enabled me to print lots and lots of different colors so that i'd have a color swatch deck for this particular printer so that for this deck which i really really love this one <laughs> i want to get the colors just right so for example i'm using the queen of pentacles green for mercury Right, so I've been able to sort that out. So I know I want to use a Two of Swords purple for Rahu, and I want to use a Six of Cups pink for Venus. So, like this, I've now updated the colors because all of these were massively faded. And some of you have provided brilliant comments. Um, one of you even said you need to update the colors on this, this, this. Like, you had a really good comment that was so helpful because I was in the process of doing all of that. So, I was massively grateful for that. So, this deck, this deck is updated now with the new colors i have had to um, there have been some typos in i think four or five of the cards so i've sorted that out the other thing i've had to do is i've had to change the image i absolutely love this image but what i've had to do is i've had to kind of comp parts together so take bits of this one out and use other images and do a lot of photoshopping and do a lot of things so that then this is in a position where i can use it for this deck so yeah it's all happening now what we're in the process of well me i'm in the process of doing right now is um i'm in the process of i'm going to be purchasing uh this and i've designed a box with this these are really expensive with the box i'll talk you through all of that when i launch them guys you don't have to buy it with the box it's it's very expensive so i've got options where you don't have to buy the box to make it cheaper but um, I'm going to be buying, I've updated this, I've taken that out and things like that. So I'm going to be buying copies of my own deck today and they should arrive maybe in two to three weeks. And if all is good and if I'm happy with them, then I will be sharing the link and s selling them to you guys. You guys can buy them and enjoy them and, and everything. So it's, it's really exciting. So bear with me. It's all, it's all going on. Uh, I also want to thank, some of you donated money and I want to thank you so much for that because with that money I'm going to be purchasing my own decks but I've also bought this which is for us to use. So this is the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards, really exciting, we're going to use that. We've got this, the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards, again very exciting. And we've also got this beautiful golden Botticelli uh, tarot deck which I'm going to be using in every single reading. It's got a little bit of gold foiling on each card. It's really pretty. So 
today's topic is going to be really simple it's going to be what's new for you as always guys choose from group one group two or group three and i'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place it has been so long since i've done this and i have missed all of you very much and thank you everyone for being really patient with me whoops thank you for being so patient because i have needed the time to do all the design work and that has been a lot of fun i love getting my graphics tablet out and some m ms or some form of chocolate <laughs> good spotify playlist a good you know a few hours no distractions and just put my head down and do some work it's a lot of fun all right so i'm going to take one of these i did one of these spreads for myself this was and it, it worked beautifully on my bigger table but I'm realizing now well, the screen real estate here is quite small. I've forgotten. Yeah, I thought, oh, I'll have enough room to do all this. No. <laughs> also, I don't know what's in this jar. Like, I really don't. This got written up many weeks ago. So I, that's going to be something very interesting right there. Uh, and I think I want to take three of these to clarify the tarot. I hope you're well wherever you are. Okay, that one wants to be there as well. Okay, let's see. Actually, I do want to take one of these as well because I thought we'll put one of these with this. Nope. Okay, this is one of the new decks. And there is some building work outside, guys, so I apologize if that's coming up on the recording. All right, where to begin? Gosh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, do you know what? Let's start here. Oh, wow. Okay. Rejection. And what's really interesting here, straight away, look at that. He's holding paintbrushes. And I definitely get the feeling that he's worried about what other people are going to say about his artwork. Interesting. Let's see what that sits on top of. Anxiety. Okay, we've got a number nine here. All right, let's keep going. We'll see what we've got. See what we've got in full. We've got a number nine here, so you're at the end of something. It's coming to a close. All right, movement. Look at that. We've got a number 10 and movement. So we finish with the nine and we come to a 10. There's progression here. There is going to be movement. This is in the process of change. It's just something you're having to go through for now. Let's keep going. That is a very interesting image. Okay. Oh, I want these to be upright, by the way. So I'm just going to turn all of these around. Clearly, I didn't check. All right. What have we got here? Prince of Swords determination so that will be now I'm pretty sure in this deck that will be the knight of swords brilliant oh should we take it as a reversal <laughs> no I want them all upright okay so what's this right interesting I thought those were all anyway I live and learn the chariot upright Okay, we've got a number seven here. Let's keep going. Princess of Wands. Yeah, so this is the Page of Wands. And that is definitely the Knight of Swords. Okay, so we've got the Page of Wands. Exploration. Good. We'll see what's, what the clarifiers are. All right, we've got the Fool. I'm liking this reading. There's a lot of good energy. Things are shifting for you. So I can feel shifting. I can feel movement. There's, there's a lot going on. But this is good on the whole. 
All right, this intro was perhaps a little bit concerning, but a lot of good. Got a new beginning right here. You've got the Seven of Cups. And we've got the Five of Pentacles. All right. So let's take a look. It feels like there are some stuck energies here on the table. There's a little bit of stuckness. There is a new beginning and he's interesting. Look at that. There's this new beginning, but he's kind of contorting himself and not, um, not going there. There is, it's like there's a lot of, uh, so we've got kind of movement twice. Chariot can very much indicate movement. There's movement here in a big way. But it's like there are some stuck emotions, stagnant emotions. There are some, there's some stuck energy here that just needs to shift and move and clear. And that's all, you know, this, this isn't going to be too difficult. What it requires is what you've manifested here on the table. Courage, okay? This exploration card, Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands, again, new journey, new beginning. Wow, look at that. We've got new, there's sort of movement and new beginning kind of here four times. But there's resistance, there's resistance on the table. And I think you're resisting. Why is there resistance? Why is there this, these, I want to call them stagnant energies. Yeah, stuck energy, stagnant energies. Five of pentacles, okay? You think, perhaps you think mm, this can be a left out in the cold type of a card. So you might be feeling left out in the cold. So this is probably, let's put this here. This is how you're feeling, I think. Anxiety, rejection, left out in the cold. There's fear. There's fear that if you go down this path, it's going to turn out badly. There's, there, is, there is fear here. So this does belong here with this. That is actually placed quite well right there. But there is, there is courage. There is kind of you know, one's fire, courage. There's good energy here for you to go in that way. Now, well, in this way, in the new direction, Prince of Swords, determination. Doesn't he look focused? He looks very focused. There is clarity. I feel like you know what you want. You're just afraid. I think that's that's all this is. I think you know what you want. Because look at him, he knows what he wants. He's not looking anywhere else. He knows this. I want this. He knows what he wants. What he doesn't want is he doesn't want all the rejection, the feeling left out, the, the pain, the difficulty, the anxiety. So you at least know what you want, <laughs> right? So that's great. It's just about summoning courage, and I think trusting in yourself. There's also this Seven of Cups here, which I haven't talked about at all. And isn't that interesting? I've kind of, I've danced around all these different cards, but I've left this to the very end. And this is a really interesting card because very often it's depicted that, you know, there's something nice in this one, but there's a snake in that one kind of thing. <laughs> like you kind of don't know what you're going to get. And there's so many options. There are so many, there are so many ways in which this one thing that you want can turn out. Okay, that's the thing. And I think what's going to be key is how you show up to whatever this opportunity is. And what I would say is show up with courage and with confidence. And if it goes this way, where it ends up being like all the other times where it's been a disaster, trust yourself to
to look after yourself, to take yourself out of that situation if it doesn't work, that's what's going to be really important. So definitely trust yourself. And it, I come back to him as well, this guy. Look at that. See, this is not the way <laughs> to start a new beginning. All contorted and twisted and afraid and like tight and restricted and fear. Like, don't, don't bring all of this fear and even sadness into this beautiful new beginning. Because how you show up to this or what you, um, how you create this really matters. What, what you bring to the party really matters. It's like that scene in Star Wars where Luke Skywalker goes down into the cave and Yoda is kind of looking at him because he decides to take his weapons and Yoda's kind of shaking his head, I think. And... He's taken his weapons, so who does he meet down there? He meets Darth Vader, you know, and maybe if instead of taking his weapons into the cave, if he took a really happy demeanor and, you know, expecting to have a good time, maybe there'd be a bottle of champagne there. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's like... So, yeah, it's, it's something about... So, I get... And part of the guidance here is really just to relax and perhaps you don't have to do anything for a while. Because if you relax and go with the flow, you've got flow cards here, just flow, just flow with it. Don't be tight or contorted or because you bring all of this anxiety with you. You don't want to do that. You want to just relax and flow and see what happens. Be determined and explore. Ah. Definitely, the word exploration is so key here. You've got to explore. Explore this. It's some new, uncharted thing. You haven't done it before. Don't take the old baggage with you. Don't take the old feelings with you. Relax, release all of that. And explore, see, see what this is. Be gentle with yourself, be gentle with the situation. There's nothing hard and fast here, you know. You can just flow with it, just see. And you are going to have to let this go. We'll put that there and we will get an extra card for... All right, so let's say you've let this go. Give us a card for... You've let that go. So you've really... You've let all of that go. Mm, that wants to be there. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, make it make it clear which card wants to be here. We've let okay. We've let go of that tight, contorted energy. We've let it go. What do we get? Nice. Look at that. Success. Six of Wands. Exactly what you want. That's brilliant. That's what I was hoping for. We can even be dramatic and turn these around. Why don't we? Because you've let that go right? You've done it. You've let it go. You can, you are free to explore this new opportunity. You'll be, you'll be successful. You'll be successful. Just trust, trust in yourself. Trust in, yeah, trust in yourself, you know. Let's see. All right. Now I really have no idea what's in here. In so many weeks. I love these. Miss doing this. <laughs> All right, what have we got in here? Oh, yeah, I like this. If you have a family that loves you, a few good friends, food on your table, and a roof over your head, you are richer than you think. You've got it all. You really do have it all. And the next thing that's opening up for you and the next pathway that you get to go down, you're doing so with the basis of this, on this platform. So really, you can't fail. You know, you've always got this to fall back on, you know, and that's really wonderful. So many people don't have some of these things. So that's great. When you change your thinking, you will always recycle your experiences. Oh, I think I feel like this one should be when you don't change your thinking, you will always recycle your experiences. Apologies about that. I probably left out a word. But um, that is true. And that, that really touches on this, that you don't want to be bringing this into the lovely new thing, you know. And 
it doesn't mean that the past didn't happen and that those memories aren't there. With, with memories and past, okay, yes, it happened. But your attachment to it, when that dissolves, you will, it, it, you'll be able to just talk about it like it happened to someone else. You know, so that's it. You got to deactivate the feelings, deactivate. And there's some old stuck feelings. You need to dissolve those or deactivate them or detach. There's that kind of thing going on here. That is a good quote. If we put the word don't in there, <laughs> I'll take one more. And we're just about at the end. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Don't be a slave to your emotions. Buddha quotes. Yeah, perfect. You've got to, this is that, this is exactly the guidance. You've got to detach. You've got to, your, your emotions are on and they're activated and you've got to, look, we've turned the cards over and you're successful. You've got the six of wands. So it's about putting the emotions to rest, switching off the emotional body. Um, yeah, and I know there's all that stuff of you got to feel it to heal it and all that. Well, it feels like you've done enough of that. It's now time to just detach and enjoy, embrace the new. There's newness here for you. All right, well, group number one, I'm so excited for you. This has been a lovely reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. And le let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what's going on for you. Now, I apologize about, we've got some building works in the background. Sorry about that, if that's coming up on the recording. And it has been going on and off today. So that's just how that is. Now, I just did this spread for group one and it worked pretty well getting back into the swing. I, was like, I haven't done this for so long. I'm like, oh, I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> all right, um, get one of these. And I'm going to do them all upright. So if anything comes as reversed, I will just make it upright. Reversals can be a lot of fun. <laughs> but what I figure is we've got plenty of energies to read. So Okay, and we're all getting a treat today. We've all got the new golden Botticelli deck to enjoy. And this is new as well. I'm hoping to get some more. I'm actually hoping to get some more when I get back to England, which should be early next year, I'm hoping. Yeah, there's just so much to do. And there's been so much to do with uh, well, we're designing tarot decks. It's been all consuming. It's a lot of fun. Ah, and one of these. I do like sitting and doing some design work, but I have missed this. I realize that as I, as I do this now. All right, let's see what's going on. So we're going to start, I think we'll start here. Hold on. We'll start here. It's a good spot. All right. Prayer. Oh, how beautiful. Nice. We've got lemons, but this could be like the status quo or where you are now in life, but you're gonna you're gonna take this and you're gonna you're gonna transform your reality possibly and heaven's gonna help you make your vision a reality. There's something along these lines. So you're working, you're busy probably materializing, manifesting in your new reality, you know, and that's good. All right, first chakra, Archangel Michael. So this could be to do with security, could be to do with family, could be to do with definitely family, but your roots, your home base where you live, maybe yeah, and definitely money as well, you know, security, shifting up your baseline, right? You're shifting up. So you've, you've got one baseline of living and you want to shift up to the next level now. And that's great. And heaven wants to help you do that. I've got a number eight here as well, which is really great for manifestation and things like that. Let's have a look here. Spirit of place. And number four, another really good, strong, stable number. Great. 
It looks like quite a focus and determination within her. She's listening as well, <laughs> listening for the guidance. So I, I imagine that your guides are saying you're doing a really good job. Let's have a look at all these. Nine of Wands, yeah, you are working hard, aren't you? Right, King of Wands. All right, a lot of fire on the table. A lot of good energy. Eight of Wands, we're gonna take that as upright. All Wands, far out, that's amazing. All right, so you are lit, you are being creative, you're working, you're working. I think you're working quite hard, but I think you're working really well. And I think like spirit is acknowledging that. Spirit, I don't often use that word. Yeah, and it's here, spirit of place. Spirit is acknowledging that, yeah. Let's have a look what our clarifiers are this time. Oh, how beautiful. The Ace of Pentacles, that is stunning. Look at all the gold foiling on that. And so there should be a lot of gold on this card. <coughs> Wonderful. So your fortune is right here. It's on the table. Four of Swords. Yes, I'm glad to see this because I think you do need some rest. I think you've been working quite hard. The Sun. Oh my gosh. What an incredible reading. Guys, this is... Look at that, look at all the gold on that one. That's wonderful. This is beautiful energy. I do think, I think the guidance here is that you need some rest. And if not now, if you're really busy and you've just got to get on and go for it and a, a, a time of rest is coming. And as part of this time of rest, it would be good for you to, and I'm kind of getting the phrase, yeah, nourish yourself. So this is a time of you, you're putting your foot on the accelerator of life, you're working hard, you're doing a lot, you're achieving a lot. You do have stability in your life. This time of rest, you're looking forward to it possibly. And that, that will be, when this time of rest comes to you, it might be now, but it might be coming, this time of rest. Nourish yourself, enjoy, celebrate. The abundance is here. But we do have prayer energy here. So for some of you, you might not be experiencing this in your reality let's have a think if you're not experiencing this if things are actually the opposite there's enormous creative energy here enormous creative energy so I would say are you using that are you are you capturing the ideas are you materializing them are you because this is live creative energy and it's that thing of the guidance might be if you're not experiencing uh you know that things are going great or any of that because this is very good <laughs> this is like great so some of you will be experiencing that things are just wonderful and you're flying you're being creative it's all going great you're just looking forward for that time to rest so you can celebrate and you can kind of you know enjoy the rewards and the rewards are coming but if you're in a place where you're like, you're visualizing and you're like, mm, this is not me. There's a huge amount of creative energy around you that you could be just getting the, you, it's like you need to be getting the downloads and, and grounding them into some creativity. So there is a lot of, there's a lot of guidance around you as well and it will be about listening watching for it you're being shown you're being you're really being shown how to t turn your dreams into reality 
you might need physical rest, recharge time now. You might need it now. Either the, oh, that's interesting, the machine outside just stopped because the building works are going on. So that's interesting. Yeah, you might need rest. You might need to switch off, <laughs> quite literally. And when you do that, and you like nourish the physical body, look after yourself a bit. I need to do that. I need to just stop sometimes and just completely, like with the pigger cards, I've had to stop, you know, and that was because, yeah, it's just sometimes, I don't know, the energy just gets to something and I just need to stop. And then, and it's not like I'm not working, I'm working every day. <laughs> but like, yeah, sometimes we just need to stop a particular project and start it up again later or something along those lines. So this is a terrific spread, guys. And it, where it might be hard, you've got this nine of wands here, it might be quite a long slog. This might be a project that you've been working on for a very long time. But some pause is coming and some ability to celebrate and cash in is also very much coming or to be rewarded or to be treated or to be nourished or something like this. You're doing amazing. This is really, really, really amazing energy. All right, what do we have here? Confront life, encounter life. Difficult moments will be there, but one day you will see that those difficult moments gave you strength because you encountered them. They were meant to be, Osho. Yeah, and, and I think that that is this. That's the nine of wands. There's some, there is some, some tough energy. This path that you're on at the moment is demanding. It's getting you to work really hard. It could be, and I'm not seeing any burnout or any of that, so don't worry. I had a brilliant session, coaching session. Uh, this was recently, and this person said to me, people who burn out are brilliant. And I loved that because I thought, yeah, I relate to that. <laughs> and I have had, I've had a big burnout and I've had many burnouts along the way. But I feel like it's really interesting that burnout has come. Let's, let's draw a card for burnout see what we get we'll take we'll take one from here let's see burnout are you working too hard what what's the guidance around hard work creativity burnout oh complacency whoa okay i wasn't expecting that you might think you're not working hard enough and you're probably being hard on yourself i do this i know what this is this is yeah <laughs> i do this where i think oh i'm not doing enough this, there's a lot of confirmation here that you're doing great and you're doing exactly the right amount. You're not being complacent straight away, but that's an interesting one because that's got a red color and we've got the first chakra here as well. There's something deep rooted where you might, you might have something where you think that you don't do enough or you don't work hard enough. Let's take, let's take a clarifier on that from this deck. So interesting we're talking about burnout. Because see burnout, there's something about burnout and too much control and you're actually not being effective or efficient. I'm studying this at the moment. I'm kind of wanting to get my head around some of these things as well. Let's have a look here. Five of swords, okay. It's interesting. We do have a bit of conflict energy here. You might be feeling a little bit conflicted this could be to do with family. It could be something. So maybe work is going fine, but there could be something going on in the family that has been a bit challenging. And you're praying, you're in the middle of this situation, kind of praying and wanting to materialize something that's going to solve stuff for everybody. But I feel like you're possibly putting too much pressure on yourself by uh, wanting to save everyone kind of thing. But all of this is giving you strength. See the difficult moments are, give, are giving you strength. Keep going. I do see that you're kind of in, yeah, you might be in 
the middle of quite a complex situation where you're trying to manifest this dream vision. It's not just for you, it's for other people as well. And because of that, because of other people like wanting to really help others around you, that's putting pressure on you, I think. So yeah, I'm now getting the guidance, like focus on you and don't, don't be trying to save the day for everybody. That's coming through right now. Let's see what we get from the quote jar. Oh, we, we had that one. I haven't opened this one, have I? No, fantastic. <laughs> right, I'll take a third if we need to. Okay, some years back, my wife and I got in the habit of asking each other, do you want comfort or solutions? when the other was having a bad time. That one sentence can save us from an argument nine out of 10 times. Yeah, at Drunk Scribe. So that was from Instagram. I don't have an Instagram account anymore, by the way. So yeah, that's why these quotes are really old. Um, interesting. Because there is some family stuff in here and it's kind of, and I think you're doing amazing in this whole situation and you're kind of, you're the light in this situation who's actively manifesting a new platform for everybody around you. This could be family, this could be husband, wife. So you're doing, you're, you're doing great. But I think it'll be good for you to focus on you a bit more and to rest if you need to. That's gonna be important. Let's take one more. Oh, we're running out of time. We're at the 15 minute mark. This thing cuts out at 16. All right, let's see what we've got here. <laughs> That's great. You are entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. Lewis Carroll, yeah. And that's a reason to laugh, a reason to smile, a, a thing from your angel saying, you are doing amazing in this situation that you're in you're holding it together for a lot of people and you're doing great. Wow, group number two, amazing energy on the table. What you've manifested for yourself personally and, and you will share it and you will help others. You're doing amazing, so keep going, hang in there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what cards come through for you. Now, it has been a while since I've done this. I hope you're well wherever you are. Group three, let's see what's new for you. Really simple topic today. I didn't wanna do anything too fancy. <laughs> Just get back in, get back into the swing of doing this. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna take one of these. It's a lot of uh, building work going on outside. So if that comes up on the recording, guys, I do apologize. It'll be so interesting to see how the noise is when I get back to England when I'm doing this there. I will be heading back, I think, um, early next year which i'm very much looking forward to <laughs> has been a while but sometimes in my area there there are like sirens and <laughs> it can be pretty noisy there as well like rowdy people on the street so we'll see how we go but the sirens and that they kind of happen a little bit more i think they're more in the evening i think the daytime's usually pretty good Okay, right, let's see. Oh, one more, one more, hold on. Let's get one of these. I'll put that on top of this dark blue one. All right, let's take that. Okay, so we'll see what we've got. This is the new golden Botticelli deck. It's got gold foiling on it. Okay, let's see what we've got. 
Ooh, self-worth. Wow. Nice. So it's like you have been out in the cold, but you're on the brink of, I don't know, maybe like a whole new life. But do you feel worthy? Do you feel good enough? Do you feel like you can go there? And that could be all that it takes. Maybe you have everything else. Maybe you have all the skills and the knowledge and the, you know, whatever you think you need. Maybe you've got all that. But maybe the one part that you're missing is just the self-confidence or the self-worth to just go there. I've got a story about this. We'll see. I'll, I'll, let's have a look at the cards first. I won't delve into the story. But I've got a good story there. <laughs> All right, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So this is fifth chakra. This is expression. This is, you know, maybe part of what you are being called to. It, it could be your art or it could be this throne. What, what does that represent? The throne that you're being called to step up to. Maybe you're being called to lead. Maybe part of that involves you speaking, involves you leading with your voice, or maybe you have a unique voice through your art. You know, the, the way you do your art, no one else does it like how you do it. And you're being called to share that with more people. Okay, beautiful energy. I'm loving this, guys. This is so good. What a beginning. That's fantastic just that <laughs> just that is amazing right so great oh nice education yeah that's interesting and we were just talking about do you know enough and you know maybe you're always going to be a lifelong student and that's something i've discovered i'm always i'm forever going to be a lifelong student that's my number one archetype with education i am a, a student you know forever but maybe you're being asked to teach or to share, you know. Wow. Let's keep going. The star, how beautiful. Oh, this is great. So there's healing energy here. Maybe you have healed. Maybe you have healed enough to take on the next level. Maybe you're ready, but you just don't think you're ready. But maybe you're ready for more loving this wow all right the five of swords yeah okay there's there's been some conflict possibly that you've been involved in or that's happened around you let's explore this further see what's going on the tower okay right this is interesting okay it's so got a lovely basis but we do have some dynamic stuff here some change possibly going on all right we've got the nine of cups you've been happy on your own quite possibly okay we've got you've healed and you've become you've come to a place where you're happy on your own so that's great you're not needy or you're not looking to the outside for something if anything you're possibly looking to give you know and that's great What's going on here? We've got the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. Wowza. Look at that Ace of Swords. Jeez. I haven't seen this card. That is incredible. Wow. That's a sword of truth. Amazing. Maybe you've told some truth and it's caused a bit of a stir around you cause some conflict hierophant mm, this is interesting and i'm going to look at this in terms of education tradition it's like there maybe there are these ascended masters that are around you or working with you on the other side maybe they're calling you to step up your efforts and that hey don't think of yourself as you know because we can see from her outfit, she's kind of, she's dressed in a cute sort of a way, <laughs> right? And that because that's who she is. She likes to just you know, 
and in modern terms she'd probably be wearing like jeans and a hoodie or something but it's like when she steps into this she might have to change a bit and that's the tower we've got change here we've got tower with the hierophant she might have to change because look at how he's dressed he's got a pretty fancy outfit on right like it's not fancy but it's like um you know it's not relaxed or casual is it hierophant is very much about tradition education but it's like you're being uh, you're being asked to up your self-worth you know and and a, a very superficial way of seeing that change is through what one wears like so I've got a couple of stories here with this self-worth thing another one that's popping into my mind is somebody once said that if there's a job that you want in the future and this was when I used to work in design studios and as a copywriter and you know the big step was to be a creative director and so people would say well dress like a creative director then dress like that now while you're in your simple job dress like where you want to be in the future and dress is a very kind of superficial um, thing what's being asked of you is, is very internal <laughs> it's not just change your outfit and then you automatically become someone else but it's, it's just a way of in a material world you know giving people an example of some of the changes they need to make to go to where they have to go the other thing that this self-worth thing brought up over oh, at the nine minute mark I'll try and do this very quickly I did a lot of training with a lady called Denise Lynn and this story comes from her I think it was her husband who went to this fancy dojo I might have told this on a pick a card before but he used to go to this dojo karate that kind of thing and everybody had a black belt everyone was high level but there was a room where these really 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 top 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 people would go in there There's a handful of them and the exclusive people would just go in there and they got trained by the really top 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 master and he always wondered he'd go to his usual room where there's 30 or 40 of them and he used to think how do you get into that room where there's just five of them like what do you have to do to get into that room and it turns out one day he just went in there he just thought I'm just gonna go in there and see like you know maybe someone will say something anyway he goes in there and they just accept him and that was it like that was all he had to do to get into the exclusive club he just had to walk in there and I feel like that's, that's something with it you might have to change and maybe you have to change some superficial thing I don't know but that you you are being asked to change keep studying but it's time for teaching it's time for sharing it's time for stepping it up now you have healed you know how to be happy on your own you will tell the truth and yeah that's going to be a problem for some people and I think that's going to be part of your path as well that you because I think you can't help it <laughs> I think you just, you're always going to tell the truth that's a good thing and one of the things I've been thinking about with uh, the Queen of Swords, for example, or someone who uses swords is that, and I'll be writing about this, I haven't written it yet, but it's the, master, the next master's script. I, th I think some of this might get into that script. It's been being written in my head and it's about swords and it's about um, the correct use of them and that I think you're also evolving to a place where you don't want to you don't want to you want to you want to let go of attack and self-attack both of these you want to let them go you don't want to do them anymore but part of your life is speaking truth and I think it's going to take like courage and confidence and maturity but I feel like there's spirit guides around you or there's some very evolved beings around you that are they're inviting you and they're saying come come be here we will teach you we'll teach you we'll protect you but this thing about swords where was I there I was just going down a tangent it's like you know how to use them you know where they are you know how to use them but you 
you don't carry a sword with you anymore. I think that's what this is about. And it's like, but equally, you will use it if you have to. And yeah, it might cause problems, <laughs> right? So that's just, that's just part of speaking truth. It's, and, and that's part of, yeah, fifth chakra. You will um, be tested on how you handle truth, how you wield truth. Because it can be like a sword, it can be like a knife. It can be difficult. And you definitely don't want to cause this. I know that. It's like that's the last thing you want to do. But going into this responsible position, and that's why I was talking about the Queen of Swords, you will have to become some kind of king or queen of swords. It will be part of your life, part of your work. And I know Queen of Swords gets a bad rap, and so does King of Swords. Like... People don't really like them too much, but, but, you know, they've got a job to do. They've got work to do. It's, it's, they have to be responsible. Wow, amazing energies here, guys. Look at that. And the other thing is that you'll be, you'll be taught. You'll be given every single concept, word, idea, everything you need will be given to you. You've got because yeah this being right and this little magical thing here whatever that is you're going to be shown so don't feel like you don't know enough because you do but the other thing is that you want to connect with the living flames of the now and the life and like give bring that to people Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can hear that. We've got some rumblings under the house. Gosh, what's that? See, I've got other things to say, but like, hang on, we're at the 14 minute mark. I'm going to have to. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's have a look here. It's your road and yours alone. Others may walk it with you, but no one can walk it for you. Rumi, yeah. It's the, you've, you've, got to, you've got to use your free will. And it's like the dojo. It's like you know, that guy who stepped into the room with the experts. He just decided, I'm just going to go in there. And that's what turned him into one of those top people. It's self-worth. And, and, and ways of getting there and practicing the transformation are things like changing how you dress or, I don't know, buying a great computer or <laughs> whatever material way you can start to make steps to, you know, get there. Those are kind of baby steps, but it's, it's the internal work of deciding, I'm it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can do it, I'm there. How, and how does anyone do that? And you, can, you, can, you want someone above you to say, you can. But maybe you're so high that there's nobody to tell you that. You know, amazing, amazing energy here, guys. I'm just blown away by this. All right, what have we got here? I know you're intuitive and intelligent, but you're destroying your peace, confronting everything you observe. Let it flow. Wow, this is epic. This is great because that's this. So you might be... I mean, there's, and there's a thing of perfectionism as well, that you might be using your sword or trying to make everything perfect around you. No, that's not a good idea. Um, yeah, and the other thing is, oh, this is so good. You see, just because you can doesn't mean you should, right? Just because you can wield this with some pretty expert skill doesn't mean you should do it. Maybe you should just not, right? Because you're just going to create this around you. You're going to create people who are upset around you. So don't. I've learnt that lesson. I've learnt that lesson. Sorry, it just cut out. I, I've learnt that lesson the hard way. I've kind of stuck my nose into things I probably shouldn't have done. And um, why did I do that? You know? <laughs> and you, know, you think you're doing some justice or the right thing. Or, no. But, yeah. We live and learn. <laughs> Let's take another one. Hold on. Um, but I'm loving this group three. I think some things have shifted for you in a massively positive way. You're doing great. 
And it's like, and you're being called to the next level now. And go, enjoy that. Uh, all right, consciousness is power. Be aware of what needs needs be done, and it will be done. Only keep alert and quiet. Yeah. Okay. So this is this again is tapping into this sword. That don't be using this thing. Uh, and and the truly and I'll be talking about this in the Keto episode. I have to record that later today. It's it, true spiritual power is. Uh, not really used <laughs> the, the people who have the most spiritual power they never use it so it's that and i think you're they're wanting to grant you more power but it's, it's a funny one they're going to grant you what, all this power that you're not going to use well yeah i mean stick around have a look at the keto episode because i will be touching on that there but guys i'm going to wrap this reading up right now thank you so much for stopping by i have enjoyed doing this reading so much it's been a really great one let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.